See as bros come turn a life around. Me say if I won't do the same thing. You just say don't do it. He's in really bad shape. Like absolutely dejected. Poor guy. And Greg isn't being too helpful. He's doing this thing of letting him ride it out at his own pace. And I'm like, no, you need to be more emotionally available to him. Help him out of the rut. Don't just watch him. And it does sound like what Antoine needs is someone to, you know, kind of carry him along. And at the end of the day, in these times, I think it's something that everyone needs. We shouldn't just be left alone to deal with our demons. Exactly. I just don't know what I can do for him from here. You could try sharing your experiences. You know, this COVID has hit us all. The weight of it, emotionally, it's, it's pretty heavy. And while I, I know that everyone's individual circumstance is unique, fundamentally, the trauma of it is the same. Him having HIV, it's brought out his fears of being stigmatized and being more vulnerable to any ailment. It sounds like he needs help with knowing that he is not alone. It doesn't help that Greg is expecting him to just be strong. <laughs> You know, personally, I think that this whole be strong narrative is dangerous. People need to know that it is okay for them to feel their feelings. Right, and that they can face a terrifying situation without denying themselves the right to feel overwhelmed, pained, or frustrated. So, you know, maybe it's the same for patients the world over. But what I'm finding, personally, is that us from African backgrounds, it has always been be a strong Black woman or a black man must be tough. And that narrative, it doesn't work for us. It may have served us at some point, but at this point, we need to be given the room and the space to simply feel. Right? It's a pandemic for heaven's sake. So of course we're not going to be all the way intact and that's okay. Amen to that. <sighs> but then what? You know, what are the solutions for the Antoines? He acknowledges his feelings, and then what? Okay, so you see this COVID thing, it demands collectivism from all of us. We have to work together to work through this. Mm. And this rugged individualism that is just such an American way of being isn't serving us. Precisely, and it is the youth that need to champion this and push this forward. Good to see you feeling good now. I'm all of you good I stand Jidit Bar, man. I tell you, that cancelling session really changed my life, man. Like, I don't lie. Mm, I didn't know it was supposed to work that fast. Ah, so, people did different. You know, me, I just need one small eye opener. Which, yeah, you know, uh, Pesuego will help me yeah, for months and, you know, reset my mindset. You get, you know, and uh, ah, right now, I take my ARVs and I don't look ahead ahead now. Yeah, positive vibes everywhere. Everywhere soft. Shamo. <laughs> well, that's fresh now. Fresh. That's why you hustle. I don't want to go. Oh, I beg. I don't do it again. See, this life now, one person could just get IPP for nothing. I need to make give me any unnecessary stress. I beg. I don't counsel now. You know, right now, I'm legit where they find now. It's yeah. A lot of said already find person go hire myself. Yeah, that's good now. Good. Yeah, yeah. Throughout this week, I mean, they go up and down, they apply for jobs. And right now, I don't finally secure one interview like that. Uh, and if you want me die, so I will get the job. Hey, that is well. So which job is that one now? <clears throat> now for speech, Shah. Hmm? Executive in charge of hygiene and cleanliness. Huh? Hey, cleaner. Oh. OK. <laughs> Wait a that's great. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just surprised, you know, because the worst kid, the worst seal, when me know, you could dare shame to do that kind of job now. <laughs> eh, that's because it's not the worst you that you know. Hmm? This guy right here is the new and improved worst kid. I don't finally upgrade my OS. In fact, say, eh? if he call me worst man, you know why? I don't know why. But wait a minute, why? Because wise man is not a kid. Hmm? Wise man is a guy with strong determination and positive vibes, and a guy who knows that there is no shame hmm, in making the path whichever legit way possible. 
DM. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the spirit now. That's what's up. So, my brother, hmm? I go walk into that hospital, mm-hmm. get the job, mm-hmm. and make my bar. Mm-hmm. And then we we'll see what happens next. Yeah, what happens next? Ah, uh, so got me. You know that the ladies love the guy with the rubber. I know, say, rubber, the essential. Wait, wait. I thought you were doing this for you. Eh, now for me and my babe now, we are going finally end up with so Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that's right. I guess there's no shame in that. But wait, tell me you won't be worried working in the hospital environment itself. During COVID? Yeah. I mean, as a cleaner, I guess you'll be responsible for sanitizing spaces that may have been infected by positive patients. Uh, and my contribution to my community be that, no? I'm going to try to stay safe. I'm going to wear my face mask, you know, the clean my gloves, they change my gloves regularly. And I go, you know, I go, I go to do like all those uh, nurses and doctors with the sacrifice, you understand? Those ones, they call them uh, 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 frontliners. Hey, you know? Wait. Ah, oh boy. You don't say babes, but they like this guy too. Frontliners. Ah, but you think I go right and dance. Frontliners. I think TikTok come against it for um, front liners <laughs> sacrifice to my community. Okay, you don't do I beg. Just save the script for later, okay? Because me, I know good day here, they watch you, they waste my data. I should do rehearse for those poor innocent girls. Guy. Okay, just. <laughs> hey, Adiza. How are you holding up? I'm hanging in here as much as I can. This is so horrible. Losing your dad and then not being able to bury him. And I hate myself for not going to Kano for my dad's funeral. Don't be hard on yourself, Hadiza. You made the decision that you felt was right. I know. The way the numbers are skyrocketing, it just does not make sense for me to put myself in that kind of danger. Not for myself, but for my child. I kept thinking about the pain I'm going through losing a parent. Where would I take any chance to put Sleiman in that position? And that's valid. My mother agrees with me. She did not want me to come. And that was her reasons too. With her getting sick, she did not want me to put myself in that position. How is she now? Getting better, thankfully. I wish I could be with her to help her with her recovery. Knowing you're safe is the best thing you can give her right now. Be strong, okay? Don't let the rest of your family members back home judge you like you loved or respected your father any less. I'm trying. But you know, family members, even though I've been supportive, video calling on a daily basis. I made all the funeral arrangements from here. But you know, there are still those family members that would think I'm selfish for not coming. In a situation like this, everyone should be able to make that choice themselves. I'm not going to stay away forever. I'm just waiting for the safest time for me to travel. Gosh, this is so much, Hadiza. Your father, your mom, being away from your husband and kid, it's a lot. Honestly, the video calls are the only thing I can hold on to. I make sure I record my song every day for my child. Umar and I have strangely found a new normal in this online marriage, and I'm grateful for that. And I have you too. Whatever you need, we are here, okay? Thanks, ladies. Right now, I need to get something in my stomach, okay? Okay. Chat later. Questions about COVID 19, 
Text the word COVID to plus four one seven nine eight nine three one eight nine two on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together. Terms and conditions apply.